Well guys, I got a, another motor uh, repaired. Um, didn't have to do a whole lot to it. This is a, a Model 500. You can barely make out somewhat of the tag would have been right here which said David Bradley on it. I had to re well, had to do some cleaning on the carburetor uh, up in here along the head. The valves were pretty crusty. Um, I had to repair this right here for the choke. Somebody had made a homemade uh, uh, shut off. And when people do that, uh, you know, they had it in there like that. I just replaced it with another one that I had an extra bottom. Um, but it was, uh, I noticed they must have just tried to repair it with this piece of aluminum. And when you would hold it open, when you'd start the motor, this would just fall and it would choke and kill the engine. So that wasn't going to work. And then I noticed <laughs> on the flywheel back here where the crankshaft is, we put the pulley, they had a drift key in there. That actually is for your flywheel you know inside here so I don't know what uh, I guess that would work I guess if we didn't have anything else anyhow uh, this is a model 500 uh, if I can get in here it's a uh, 306197 um, didn't take a whole lot to get it uh, going uh, so I just cleaning the crud off the inside the cover and everything and taking the head off and everything let's see if we can fire this thing up I'm trying to hold the camera now and trying to pull this with one hand so there we go about it they put a kill switch on here you know just this tab but they whoever had this they put a coil wire on here with this rubber so this ain't gonna do you no good just pull the pull the wire that'll kill the engine I had to find another spring because this was part was missing uh, other than that that's about it on this motor turn my gas off here this is my homemade, I got a tank, David Bradley tank up there on a stand with a magnet on my metal table. And I just hook it up to get them running. I can get these running uh, just to test them out without this even carburetor on there. Just put you a little bit of gas spray in here or some starting fluid up inside here and start it that way. I got a throttle cable hooked up to it. Because usually if you don't have a throttle cable, the thing will run wide open. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, that motor, oh, that, uh, that 59 Suburban I had, I thought I could rescue it. Well, it was shot on the inside. Only thing I was able to save off of it was mainly just parts. Uh, the hood latch, the pulley piston the rings the gears and all that the flywheel was even busted uh, two of the fins were busted completely off when I got in there and the bottom of the cover to the rope start was completely just rotted out but somebody might be able to need parts for a 59 uh, Suburban David Bradley I got all the spare parts for a motor right there anyhow uh, here's some of the stuff this is uh, some of the manuals that I've got right here. Uh, I've had this for a while, this manual here. 
operating manual uh, maintenance instruction and parts list for uh, Sears gasoline engine. These are all your 500 series. And see the one I just now got running was this this model 500 306197. And I've got several of these uh, motors. I've even got this uh, 500 306126 which is on that tractor right over there. And then I've got a couple uh two more spare motors right over there um this this uh, little pamphlet right here it, it's got all kinds of stuff on how to uh work on these model 500s i mean everything that you would uh, want to do to even rebuild your carburetor how to set your carburetor your float and all that I mean, just step by step. Um, I think it's like 40 some pages long. Even the parts, uh, part list numbers. Uh, yeah, part section. And I think there's like, uh, I don't know, several pages of it. And here it shows your parts, your inner parts, uh, gas tanks, gas tank covers. Uh, this is on your 500 series, your David Bradley. Um, and I think he, even here's one, it looks like even a gear reduction one here. Like I guess they had a 500 series on that. But here's all your parts, and this is what helps me out if I have any problems with the motor, I can get this manual and maintenance. If I'm missing a part, I might be able to find some old new stock. Um, and tells you just little bit by little bit on how to find all this stuff and how to work on it how to set it up but my other book I got is down here come from a friend of mine when he was a small engine mechanic back in the 1970s this manual here is uh, I think it's a 1970 74 yeah June the first of 74 but this has every motor and maintenance in this catalog I got here. And even uh, motor series photos. And this book here is in pretty good condition. Series on every motor and on, even on how to work on them. And sometimes I get this manual out because it's got all your, all your Briggs engines from from model N to model 8, model Z, model 6, model 5, model B, model NPR6, and then uh, it'll have all your uh, identification, uh, short blocks, all that. And he gave me this book and plus uh, four more books just like this. One of them is uh, a Tecumish. Uh, manual. But this is what I go by sometimes if I got a uh, missing a part off of a motor or might be able to get online find some part numbers and I can look at this and look at the motor if somebody hasn't messed with the motor a lot. But uh, I make my own gaskets out of this cork. I find an old gasket that will uh, uh, even for the gas bowl and I'll trace that out and cut it out with a knife. I make them for the oil bath that there's a gasket sets down in here when you mount this on there. I was surprised that the tag was still on this oil bath. I don't know if this is correct up here, but this is what it was when I found it, the motor. So now I didn't give a whole lot for this motor. Uh, and then I've got, well, actually I got uh, two more David Bradley's, perhaps three here. Uh, I think these are all three 500 series right in here. And then this gear reduction, it's a model NPR6. That's about it, guys, uh, as far as uh, working on some of these. Um, just wanted to show you another motor I got running. Um, that's about it. As far as cleaning them, I usually, uh, some of these are pretty dirty instead of... Uh, uh, cleaning and putting them in the uh, uh, carburetor cleaner 
I usually will put them in I usually put them in a pan like that an old pan like that and I'll put fuel in there and take a brush and clean a lot of that grease and grime off um, some of these motors I don't paint them some of them I'll, I'll treat the gas tanks and uh, a lot of times I don't paint them because if I get rid of these motors I just leave it up to the individual if he wants to restore it even further by painting this and putting new decals and all that I just get them running so that's why I've got probably eight nine spare motors of David Bradley 500 series they're up and running and a lot of them are sitting right over there and some of them are sitting over here behind in the pallet that's it guys uh till the next time